Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of migrating your company data to Tally Prime Release 3.0. You will also get to know the changes in the migration experience introduced in the release. Tally Prime Release 3.0 provides an enhanced and simpler data migration experience. You can track the progress of migration and view a migration summary report to know the statistics related to masters and transactions. Furthermore, the products ensures that you know the updates made to company data as a result of migration. First, let us see how to migrate your company data to Tally Prime Release 3.0. Open Tally Prime. As you can see, the companies are listed and you can easily identify the companies that require migration. These are 5-digit companies compatible to Tally Prime Release 2.1 and earlier releases. Migrating data to Tally Prime Release 3.0 leads to the creation of a new 6-digit company with 0 as the prefix in the company's number while retaining the original 5-digit company which is renamed with the text migrated to 3.0. It eases the identification of both companies. Moreover, it is important to note that the new 6-digit company will not be compatible with the earlier releases. Now, select the company and press Enter. Tally Prime informs you that the company will be migrated as a new 6-digit company with zero prefix to the company number of the existing 5-digit company. This change makes the company compatible to the current release. Press C to configure. We recommend you to take backup before migrating. Under GST, press Enter and ignore differences in tax values up to. In Tally Prime Release 2.1 or earlier, you must have configured your GST reports to ignore a certain difference in tax values which can occur due to rounding off and other reasons. The similar configuration to ignore differences in tax values is now provided under F11 in Tally Prime Release 3.0. The values set under F12 configurations in the old release do not get carried forward to the F11 features of Tally Prime Release 3.0. So, you are prompted to enter the value before migration. Enter the value as per your standard business practices and press Enter. You can choose to ignore the difference in tax values when actual taxes greater than computer tax, lesser than computed tax, or greater or lesser than computed tax based on the variation in the tax value and that computed by Tally Prime. If you do not enter the value here and proceed to migrate, then those transactions will get into the uncertain transaction section of GST reports. In such cases, you need to press F11 and enter the value under Ignore Differences in Tax Values up to. Once you enter the value, the affected transactions move from the Uncertain Transaction section to their respective sections. Providing the value before migration ensures that the transactions that are ready for return filing do not enter the Uncertain Transaction section. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. Now press R to migrate. As you can see, Tally Prime shows the progress of migration right from the creation of the 6-digit company to migration of masters and then transactions. Once the migration is completed, you get to view a migration summary report. You can see if the migration is successful. Press Alt plus F5 to view the detailed report and then you can compare the number of masters and transactions before and after migration. The number of masters appear to be one more than that before migration as a master for GST registration gets added to it to support the multiple GST registration feature. 
This change in number will be observed only when you are migrating from an earlier release to Tally Prime release 3.0 or later. It is also mentioned under Updates in Company Data. Now, in Tally Prime release 2.1 or earlier, you must have configured your GST reports to ignore a certain difference in tax values, which can occur due to rounding off and other reasons. However, the option Ignore Differences in Tax Value is set to zero, which you can update under F11 after migration as per your requirement. Moreover, for voucher types with automatic or multi-user auto voucher number methods, retain original voucher number at the time of insertion or deletion is introduced to ensure that your voucher numbers do not change as a result of such actions. However, you can change it to renumber vouchers in the voucher type alteration screen if needed. Press Escape and seamlessly continue to use the company to record your business transactions. After migration, when you select the company from the same folder, you can see both the companies, the six-digit company that got created after migration and the old five-digit company that is retained. Now, let us see how it works when there are some exceptions found during migration. Select the company and migrate it. As you can see, the company is migrated with a few exceptions and the migration summary report opens with a detailed view. This report opens in the detailed view so that you can view the number of exceptions that occurred in each master and voucher type. Press all plus X or click repair or migrate exceptions to view the exceptions and resolve as needed. You can view our video how to resolve exceptions during import, repair, migration and synchronization in Tally Prime to know how to resolve exceptions. Let us see what happens when Tally Prime is shut during migration. Tally Prime Release 3.0 ensures that you can continue migration even if Tally Prime is shut during the process. In such cases, open Tally Prime again. You can see continue migration against the company. Press enter on the company. There is a prompt that asks continue migration. Press Y or click yes. In a multi-user environment, it may also be possible that you try to migrate a company whose migration is under progress in some other computer. In such cases, you will view a status migration in progress against the company. Now, let's see what happens when you try to migrate your data but there is no space in the drive of your computer. When you try to migrate your company data and your computer does not have enough free space in the drive of your computer, Tally Prime displays a warning. In case there is not enough space to migrate, when you click migrate, you get an error message as you can see on the screen. Tally Prime allows you to migrate once the required free space is available in your computer. Similarly, if you enable backup company data before migration and the drive in which the backup destination path is located does not have enough free space, then you can update the folder path as the path in a drive which has enough free space. Or you can set backup company data before migration as no. As you saw, Tally Prime Release 3.0 has further simplified the migration of company data as you can identify the status of data, know the stages of migration, and view the migration summary report to know the statistics of masters and transactions. What's more, you can identify exceptions and even continue migration if it gets interrupted. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.